I thought I'd look at the new Zert and Zwift integration. So Zert um, training now integrates with Z Zwift. And I haven't visited Zert for a while, but this actually is something that kind of interests me. I do, I will ask George from Indievelo if they can also implement this into Indievelo. It's not a big deal because it's quite easy to copy the files over, but it just makes it life a little bit simpler. Um, so this is the first time I've actually looked at this. Um, so we'll see how smooth it is and how easy it is, because some people do complain that Zert is a little bit complicated. So I'm on the Zwift Insider web page, and this is actually one of the things that highlighted to me that I can do this despite being a Zert account holder already. Um, so I won't read too much into this because I'll link the description below so you can all read about this. But what I'll do is I'll go to my Zert page and see if I can work this out. So there's some inf interesting things to do um, on Zert, some new blogs and things. But let's just go to my account as you can see. Uh, and my training status is pretty poor. So I'll keep this quite simple. So I've already integrated it. So I've gone to Sync. So I synced Strava. I mean Zwift, I should say. <laughs> so he's just saying Strava. Okay, so let's do training. Now, this is the auto-generated workouts. I'm not particularly interested in doing something like that at the moment. Okay, setting up back to blue. Now I can send this to Zwift. This is the non-automatic way. So send workout to Zwift. Okay, successfully upload workout to Zwift. Okay, so we'll go to Zwift and let's have a look at that for you. There we go. So back to blue. Now can I do this live? This next question. What happens if I change Live. Can I send this one? Okay, now is that giving me Zwift? There we go. It's gone straight there. So that's pretty good. I can update that live. So I'll do, I'll send active recovery. You won't see it in the screen, but you'll see it on, so for you. There we go, active recovery. Now you don't have to actually open up Zert to do this every single ride. What you can do is you can automatically have Zert push um, an AI recommended workout every day. To you so you can just open up Zwift and away you go. Now to do this you'd go into your fitness planner and then you go into so today is Tuesday. I already have this set up but you go into your settings and then you if you turn that off that's what you will have but then you go to automatically schedule a recommended workout and save and then that will push that to Zwift. Now because I've already pushed a workout to Zwift then it, this won't do it. But tomorrow, when the AI decides what workout I should be doing, it'll then update it. So, okay, so one final thing I just picked up on whilst I was looking at my Zert screen, and you've got to be careful of this, because I just made that mistake, is putting all of your workouts. So I've actually scheduled three workouts, because I was wondering why on my training, I shot 143 which earlier on was only 40 something. So I yeah, don't need to do that. So make sure you go into your planner. And what am I doing? I'm doing back to blue. So get rid of you. Yes, delete. And delete. Delete you. Delete. Okay, so now That's looking better. And also one another thing is that you don't need to worry about changing your FTP in Zwift. So it will override the FTP. So at the moment, my FTP in Zert is, I think it's two, what is it? It's 280, nine but in Zwift actually I'll show you so at the moment ramp down 190 see my graph blue if I change my FTP here 
down to something ridiculous. 150, usually this would adjust your workout. But as you can see, the workout's exactly the same. I wish you had my graph, it's crazy red. But it means you don't have to worry about Zerts, FTP and its data getting messed up, messed up by a Zwift FTP. It's independent, which is actually really good and really interesting. But it changed that. Because FTP, not all FTP is the same. So it's not really an FTP as such. It's, it's your threshold, so it's different. Which makes sense about why they integrate differently. Uh, I better turn the fan back on. It's getting hot in this shed, as you can see by the sweat dripping off me. Better go again.